guys. Um, so I'm in my dorm in London, officially, and um, I was very, very overwhelmed, and so I decided to take a nap for like two hours. Um, uh, my building doesn't have anyone in it right now. Like, I'm by myself, and I don't know how I feel about that. Um, but apparently there are people that are supposed to be moving in, so hopefully I'll get some people on my floor in my building somewhere. Um, so my flight was okay, um, but American Airlines ended up really messing up one of my bags, and um, they essentially broke off a wheel and dented in the side, and um, I'll probably show you guys pictures, but I'm really annoyed because I just had to travel literally to the other side of London without a wheel on my heaviest bag. Um, but I didn't even bother to bring it up to anyone because I was just like, I'm tired, I need to go places. Um, sleeping on the plane is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Um, <laughs> It's like, I can't sleep sitting upright, and any time that I tried to, like, move, I couldn't do it. Um, but I mean, that wasn't that bad, plus I took a nap, so. It's kind of weird, because I haven't reset my clock on my laptop, and so my laptop says 10.46 a.m., and then I look at my watch that I have reset, and um, it's 3.40 right now. And I'm just like, ah, what is this time difference? Um, this is my first time traveling to a different time zone. I don't know how I feel about that. Aside from the fact that I think it's funny. Um, I feel like I'm going to have to edit this video because my thoughts are all over the place. But um, I decided not to go to Pride. Mainly because I decided to take a nap instead and upon arriving I realized that they don't have any towels or bedding like I thought they would so I'm gonna have to pick some of that up um because that's my bed right now. It's got nothing on it. Not even a pillow. Not even a pillow. I was gonna bring a pillow, and I didn't. That's sad. Um. Yeah, clearly I'm still sleepy because my thoughts are literally everywhere. Um, I don't have Wi-Fi right now. Um, so I'll have to see what I have to do in order to get that. Um, because that's going to make blogging really difficult, as well as life in general, without the internet, considering that's basic human need at this point in time. Um, totally going to have to redo this. The wedding was fine. Even though that has nothing to do with studying abroad. But I talked about it, so I figured I would respond. Um, my cousin Kate looked beautiful. Um, kind of annoyed that I didn't get to stay for the reception. But I had to grab that last flight out, so it's only so much you can do. But... Yeah, I'm just talking in circles at this point, so I'm just going to go. Um, I need a map of, like, things around. Because they gave me... They gave me a tube map, which is awesome, you know, to include in all of my paperwork that they just handed to me. As well as my key... 
but that doesn't help me when it comes to things like so on one of these flyers it has our first like meeting and it's at the theme side in but I don't know where that is um, so <laughs> we're gonna have to do some exploring because this is supposed to be my first like oh well welcome to London this is where we're meeting kind of thing and no no one place in London is like off limits so it could be literally anywhere um, and it doesn't have like hey take this tube stop or anything so I need to, like an actual map I also need to figure out where my classes are because the classrooms that doesn't tell me anything it's all abbreviated more issues more issues um, so this should be fun and I can't look it up right now because I don't have the internet first world problems um, Yeah, it's time for me to edit this because it's all over the place. <gasps> mm -hmm. Sorry that I'm not as peppy and energetic in this video. I'm like exhausted. So, day one. Day one. <laughs> 